America's auto enthusiast program. This is Auto World. And now, here's your host, Bob Long. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me here for another hour and another edition of Auto World. And this hour, you're in luck because George Douglas is going to be with us. He's the man with the great website, oilhelp.com. He's the gentleman with more than 35 years of lubrication experience. He has a background in aircraft maintenance. And as a matter of fact, he's a pilot himself. But more importantly, he has more than 35 years of experience. And he is one of the largest AMSOIL distributors in all of North America. And as I said at the top of the show, you know, you can buy oil anywhere. You can buy it at a convenience store. You can buy it at a big box store or Walmart or Costco or Target. You can buy it at a dealership. You can buy it at a at a quick lube place. But uh, you're, you're not getting the benefits of what you get if you do business with oilhelp.com and Dan Watson's thelubepage.com because Dan is a great guy who knows a whole lot about uh, about not only AMSOIL but also about uh, submarines where he was a U.S. Navy specialist uh, and specialized in the mechanical side of nuclear submarines. That's where he first got introduced into the AMSOIL and synthetic world. And George uh, was working in aviation maintenance, and uh, that's where he first got exposed to early synthetics. So 35 years worth of experience with George, 25 years worth of experience with Dan. And the big difference between buying your oil at just your your local convenience store, and people do that, uh, and buying your oil from Dan or from George is if you log on to oilhelp.com, you can get George's telephone number, you can get his email, and you can send him a question, and George will come back with a custom prescription for your car. And there are so many things to take into consideration. And the other great news is once you do business with either one of these gentlemen, you're a customer for life. So if something comes up a few months down the road and you have a question, both of them are more than willing to help you out. Telephone-wise, don't be a stranger. Feel free to call us at 855-660-4261 or via the email bob at autoworldradio.com. Right now, let's go to the Auto World guest lines and bring forth the man of the hour. It's George Douglas from oilhelp.com. George, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, uh, Bob. It's hard to, maybe hard to live up to your uh, introduction, but uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, well, you'll, you'll do more than live up to it. Uh, I'm so impressed with your knowledge and uh, your passion for this. I mean, that's that's the thing that definitely uh, resonates with me whenever I have the opportunity to have lunch over your house or get to meet you in person is that you truly love AMSOIL products and you truly want to help people. And those are, are two huge attributes. Well, thank you. That's, uh, I don't know how to, you know, anybody that has a business, uh, you know, and they have a passion for it, uh, you know, those are good people to do business with because they normally know what they're doing and uh, will always take care of you after the sale even, you know, and that's important too because, uh, you know, in case something happens or whatever, you, you got somebody there to uh, to um, help you. And a uh, per- person that's just a hustler or somebody just selling something, um and doesn't really care about you or your equipment. Um, you know, you get what you get what you pay for it in those cases. You know, so anyway, that's what you get when you um, uh, our customer base gets uh, from uh, Dan Watson or myself. Uh, we're there uh, as your uh, oil resource, and uh, and even if uh, some of your questions could be mechanical that really don't pertain to uh, oil, a hundred percent, we actually can get answers for you in, in those cases, too, generally. We've got a, a lot of experts that we deal with um, in the automotive field and, um, you know, that are, that, that are our customers that we uh, handle, uh, you know, the uh, we service their oil needs uh, for Amsoil, and they do a lot of oil changes for us and stuff. So we've got a lot of good people we're 
we're uh, dealing with, and and that's important too when you when you deal with a business, is um, is the staff, you know, in my opinion sure. anyway. I'm just giving you my opinion. Uh, you know, somebody that surrounds himself around a lot of good people, uh, good knowledgeable people, uh, generally you're going to get a good result, uh, whatever the the uh, your business proposition is. But uh, at any rate. Uh, do, do you have any questions, um, anybody call in or email in that we want to start off with, uh, Bob? Yeah, I got a, got a rather uh, interesting email from a gentleman uh, listening in Washington State. And uh, the gentleman's name is Walter. And Walter wants to know a little bit more about the, the specifications. He, he says he's heard you on the show before and uh, he would like to know a little bit about what he needs to be looking for. Uh, he says, I understand that my vehicle has certain specifications and I understand that AMSOIL has certain specifications as well. Uh, what's the best way for me to figure this out? Okay, that's a, a, a real uh, good question, and uh, it's pretty easy to solve, which makes it pretty nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. First of all, um, don't go by what your dealer tells you. And, and, and in other words, unless you're talking to a, a good, knowledgeable uh, uh, maintenance guy there, uh, your service writers and some of them, they don't know too much, uh, but the, and, and the salesman, of course, that sold you the vehicle, definitely doesn't know anything. But they always offer some opinions, and they're usually wrong. But the best thing, best thing for you to do, no matter who tells you what to do, is, you know, you remember old Ronald Reagan, you know, years ago, he says, trust your government, but verify. Well, I'm saying trust your dealer, but verify, and go into your owner's manual. Okay, and go to the oil section. It will tell you the specification of the oil you're supposed to be using. It will also tell you the viscosity range based on ambient temperatures that you're going to be driving in. But the key, the main thing you're going to look at is American Petroleum Institute. They set up the standards and and um, uh, test against them. Uh, you. Um, uh, for somebody to make an oil and, and, and be an approved American Petroleum uh, API rated oil, it has to meet a, a minimum uh, test, okay? And there's all kinds of tests going on. There's some right now that I was going to talk about. I'll, I'll probably touch on it, and that's um, the real problem they got right now with these uh, turbocharged and direct injection uh, engines is these uh, low-speed uh, pre-ignition. And there's some new specifications coming out for it, and that's what I was going to talk about tonight also. But you can look in there in your owner's manual. If you've got something in the last year or two, uh, two or three years ago, it's going to be, for gasoline, it's going to be API SN. Now, S, S stands for spark ignition engines, which means you've got a, a carburetor, or not a carburetor, but, you know, a, a gas engine, okay? And the N is at the level or the, or the, oh, the specification that's the highest standard right now. And, um, and like, Four or five years ago, it might have been an SM, and before that was an SL. You know, so it goes up each year and moves another letter up. So you want something with an API, most likely for your vehicle, and an SN rating. And um, we, there's even uh, ratings on these things for uh, specific Chrysler specs, Ford specs, uh, GM Dexo specs, and, um, and you know, and European specs too. And your vehicle, your owner's manual will tell you what you need, okay? But now when you go to a quick lube or you go, um, um, you have something done for you, do you ever um, verify that? Do you ever verify what they're using? You ever, I'm you not know, saying you all in a good particular, point. but in general, do, do uh, you radio listeners, <laughs> do, you, do you make it a habit of making sure they're putting the right stuff in? Yeah, that's a really good point, and we'll pick up on it on the other side. You're listening to George Douglas, OilHelp.com. This is Auto World. End up driving by. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being here with us. 
Plus. My name is Bob Long, along with George Douglas from OilHealth.com. He's an oil lubrication specialist with more than 35 years worth of experience and has a wonderful website, OilHelp.com. Before that hard network break, you were telling us about what some of these numbers mean and uh, the fact that you got to be careful and you got to check sometimes because certain folks at dealers and other places might not even be putting the proper oil in. Well, that's correct. And uh, the um, American Petroleum Institute has been doing some testing uh, um, and checking out on uh, store shelves and and then testing oils. And uh, sometimes the oils, uh, it's not with the major brands, you know, like Mobile, Pennzoil, Quaker, and so forth. It's with these non-named uh, relabeled products, uh, these ones that are selling uh, exceptionally cheap for synthetic oils, and they're not even meeting the standards, but yet uh, people are using them uh, because they say full synthetic or, they, or whatever, and uh, they're not paying attention to the specs. And uh, the person making that oil isn't paying attention to specs neither. <laughs> so, so it's kind of a you got to be careful out there, really. And it, again, it's it's uh, it's your um, you need to. Uh, learn as much as you can about protecting your own investment, and oil is one of the um, cheaper uh, things that you can do to maintain your vehicle, but it's also one of the things that can cause the most damage by uh, not using the proper uh, oils uh, of the proper specifications, the American Petroleum Institute specs. Yeah, we were talking about the uh, um, SN is where the standard is right now. They're working on testing now to go to a to a, uh, another letter up. Uh, uh, I don't know if that'd be S N O P. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Try to remember my alphabet. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, it'll bump up another one uh, when they finish up with some more testing and set a new standard. And and who pushes this is actually the um, it's not the oil companies that are pushing these uh, newer standards. It is the OEM engine manufacturers like Ford, Chevy, uh, or General Motors, and Chrysler, and European Mercedes, BMWs, Volkswagen, all them. They're the ones that are pushing this. Uh, for new standards because they're, they're developing engines that are uh, just out of this world and they need specialized protection in certain areas. Now, the, the, the big problem they're having now is um, they're looking at this API SN, the standard now, and putting a plus on it if it meets this new formulation that's going to be out in the next quarter uh, or the first quarter of next year. Now, Amsoil has already surpassed that. It already has an oil that meets that. And that protects against this explosive engines, explosions in engines that are caused by low speed free ignition. Uh, that's a new problem that's developed because of turbolized engines and direct injection fuel uh, injectors that are injected right inside the uh, piston area, the uh, cylinder area, uh, down below the valves. Now, it's not like multi port fuel injection or, or uh, bell body or uh, uh, I can't remember what the other name is, but anyway, it's not directing fuel in like the old carburetors did um, sure. and, and the multi-port fuel injection um, into an intake manifold and then coming down on top of the intake valves. This is right in the combustion area. And they're having this problem um, and swiping engines out. Um, and um, so anyway, they're looking at the oil industry to try to fix this. Now there's some there's some things they're fixing uh, with uh, timing, valve timing, and, and sort of, and that sort of thing um, um, to try to alleviate the problem also. But um, it, it's a totally new uh, phenomenon uh, problem they've never thought they'd ever have, and it's there. And uh, and when engine manufacturers start having warranty issues, then uh, you know that's when the stuff hits the fan. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing, uh, nothing uh, driving it uh, otherwise because the oil companies as a whole, you know, just like any business, they're happy just status quo, keep moving along, sell oil, and, and everybody's happy. But that, that hasn't been a story for the last 10 years. And now we got another oil coming out, a 016 weight oil. Wow. And that's going to be another little problem, uh, possibly. Um, and some of the Hondas are already uh, requiring that oil. So... It isn't uh, it isn't simple for these uh, lube, lube people, or these um, quick lubes and and um, dealerships. Uh, you know, it's just a, a total new ball of you know. It's just a, a lot of uh, headache, probably, and a lot more cost. So, 
you know, there's no, uh, if you see a $15 oil change or a $20 oil change somewhere you're driving down the road, don't go, don't go in there and get it because you are going to most likely get the wrong oil. Uh, because even petroleum oil uh, that meets the proper specs is a lot more expensive than it used to be. It used to be a lost leader item, you know, to get people in the door and sure. get them on a rack, look at the car. But that doesn't happen too much anymore because it's too expensive. But uh, anyway, I don't know if we all uh, answered Walt's question or not. Um, he was wondering about specifications, and just to review, the, the way for him to verify the specs is to look in his owner's manual, see what it says. Make sure when you looked at the oil on the, uh, when you put a quart of oil in, or I mean, do your oil change on the bottle, whatever oil you decide to buy. Make sure it meets those specs, and then make sure it meets the viscosity. Now, if you're having somebody do it for you, then verify. It. Just look and see what they got. Now, if it's come out of a tank, you know, like in a quick lube, you need to tell them to prove it to you. What, what's in there? At least get something in writing, um, you know, because uh, that's another problem that Pennzoil actually has found it with some of their uh, quick lubes uh, that um, – they were had the wrong product in the tanks, and that that can happen because we have uh, business people sometimes that aren't quite as honest as other other people, and uh, oh, and mistakes can happen too. So anyway, a lot of our customers uh, they um, uh, they want to see the bottle that's going in their uh, in their uh, vehicle, and even at the quick loops. And so a lot of quick loops that handle the Amsoil don't put it in tanks; they'll, they'll have it right there in containers. And they can show the customer what's going in and actually give them the empties if he wants them. But, uh, and that's another thing that Dan Watson, myself, as Amsoil distributors, we actually can put the oil on your doorstep. Uh, our boy, our, our partners, our, our sign up partners are, wear those brown uniforms and come up in them brown trucks and bring you some <laughs> oil on your doorstep. And, uh, we can have that shipped right to your doorstep from our closest warehouse. It doesn't have to come from my place or Dan's place. It's going to come from the closest warehouse to wherever you are, whether you're in Canada or uh, uh, the lower 40, well, even in Alaska, too. We, we have uh, warehousing up in, in Alaska. And uh, uh, But anyway, um, do you have any other questions, Bob? I kind of getting a little long, a little long here on this subject, but there's just a little. All great information, George, no question about it. Got another little question here. This one comes in from Marie. Marie is in Georgia. She says she just inherited a 1973 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, and the vehicle has got over 100,000 miles on it. She wants to know, does Amsoil make any products for vehicles that are older or high mileage vehicles well we do um we have uh, it depends how that that vehicle there is going to be used for instance uh that that could be kept in the classic category uh unless she plans to uh, use it as a daily driver i wouldn't think so but uh, uh we have the uh, what we call our z-rod oils and th- those are the ones that are high in zinc and phosphorus uh, they handle the older motors that have flat tappet cams and um uh, and then also they're heavy and rust inhibitors, really heavy and oh, rust inhibitors. And, uh... My pappy said, son, you're going to drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. Giving your radio a broadcasted tune-up. This is Auto World and your host, Bob Long. Have you heard the story? George Douglas is with us. He's got a wonderful website, oilhelp.com, and you can reach out to George anytime. And, uh, George, before we go back to that question about uh, vehicles, uh, oil for vehicles with uh, high mileage on it, why don't we make sure and give out your uh, email address, telephone, all that kind of good stuff? Well, uh, I can be contacted very easily uh, with email, uh, george at oilhelp.com, george at oilhelp.com, and then my telephone number is uh, 1-800-887-6698, 1-800-887-6698. And uh, getting back to that uh, question, um, it would probably be best if – if that person, I think it was a, a lady there in Georgia, if she'd contact me, I can guide her and walk her through on how to, uh, you know, do her first oil change on that. And, and after I get some answers from her as far as, you know, how the vehicle's been used and so forth, um, you know, um, 
then I would I would uh, I would uh, recommend uh, if if you're going to go with our oil, then I'd recommend what to do on that case. And I would probably go with our uh, lower cost oil, our loyal, lower price synthetic that's designed for uh, smaller oil, ch- uh, 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 you know, normal oil changes, even though it's a synthetic. And because most of our synthetics, um, like our signature series, that's a twenty-five thousand or one year if you want to go that far, and that's been tested like that for you know forty years. So I know it works. And uh, and the um, our OE oil, that's our uh, original equipment oil for uh, vehicles that people want to go with normal oil changes. That's priced in the uh, you know six seven dollar quart area. And then we have our XL line that um, is a 12,000 mile oil or one year synthetic, and that's about eight dollars a quart somewhere around that. And then um, then our signature series is up in the um, you know ten eleven dollar quart area. And uh, but what I was get, uh, I would on an older motor like that, I think she said it was a seventy three and a hundred thousand miles on it, and we don't know how it's been taken care of or how it's been driven, if anything's been done to it. Um, uh, and, and if I wanted to use synthetic in there and, and an Amsoil product, I, I would probably go with that OE oil and um, the first oil change, and I would go with a, a viscosity, one viscosity higher than the uh, OEM, uh, the owner's manual, calls for in that vehicle, and that's probably a... Uh, uh, that would have been a 30-weight oil uh, uh, at that time. At GM at one time, I think through that years, were actually recommending straight 30-weight because they didn't like the uh, um, VI improvers that, that made this magic multi-oil, uh, multi-grade oil from uh, 530 or 1030. Uh, back then, there was some oil companies that didn't do very well in the chemistry area, and they were driving um, a lot of those... Uh, uh, additives would get stuck to the uh, valves, and we would have valve um, intake problems. And uh, uh, but anyway, Amazon never did have any of those issues in, with our multi-grade oils. And I would go uh, uh, the 1040 in that uh, in an older engine like that is what I'd probably do. But I'd like to talk to her um, uh, either through email or whatever, and kind of direct her. Uh, to make sure that it really is a good candidate for our product, and if not, I can give her some recommendations on uh, on uh, what what I would do if it was my vehicle. Um, That's so. great. You know, we'll have to definitely get you in touch with her. And one more time, George, why don't we make sure and give out your telephone number? Well, it's one eight hundred eight eight seven six six nine eight, and uh, uh, and then of course emails uh, are um, uh, George at oilhelp dot com. It's pretty pretty simple. I'd like to hear from you. I, I do hear occasionally from some of you listeners, and uh, hopefully get you in the right uh, direction. Help you make a uh, you know an, an informed decision on what you're doing. And sometimes it's best to stay exactly what you're doing. I mean, we're not we're here to sell oil, of course, but we're not here to sell oil at all cost. Uh, we don't want to uh, encourage uh, somebody to do something uh, just so we can make a penny or a few dollars and uh, and and. Uh, and make your wallet go flatter for no reason. (laughs) That is so true. Very well said, George. Yeah. Let's uh, go back to the questions here. We were getting them floating in a little bit here in dribs and drabs, including we got one from uh, Kevin, and Kevin is in Florida, so uh, he's uh, listening in Sarasota, Florida, and he would like to know about some of the advantages that AMSOIL has over some of the other synthetic oils in the marketplace. Well, it's all about chemistry. We put uh, AMSOIL puts more money into their product, period. And these other oil companies, Mobile and all of them, could actually make a better oil. But uh, they're, they're hung up on price because they've got to compete on price with the other major brands. And um, it's really make a good oil. And, and and charge the lowest price we can because that's what consumers want. Now, Amsoil takes a little bit different philosophy. We we try to build a, an oil that, that that's better than everybody else's, and I always call it overkill oil. You know, and I like that overkill oil. When when I when I might have a problem or, or an undiscovered problem my, my, in my wife's car or one of my daughter's cars. And they don't tell me that uh, that the thing engine's running hot or something. You know, somehow we, we're running low on water, and uh, and then by the time it gets to me, we got a real problem. Well, I've got an oil in there that can handle the damage or the prevent damage from 
a, uh, another mechanical problem that developed that has nothing to do with oil. So I feel a lot more comfortable, even though I'm a mechanic and, and done all my own work all through the years. And, of course, it's a lot harder to do work now with uh, this, this high-tech, um, you know, computerized uh, everything. Um, but I still uh, – it's still coming out of my pocket. And, and so um, I want all the protection I can have, and Amzol offers that. But it's all through additive chemistry. Um, and, and, and like I said, the other companies could do the same thing if they wanted to, but they uh, – they're they're also uh, all corporately run, and um, you got bean counters. You got to you got to. I don't want to get on a political thing here, but you got to you got to um, you know make uh, Wall Street happy. But when you're a family sure. run business like Amzol is, American company that doesn't have to listen to nobody but their customers, and it's a smaller company, so they've got a they don't have the deep pockets to advertise like like the, the Mobiles and Exxon's. So they've got to they've got to compete on quality. Uh, you know, and just like um, uh, some of the testing they just did on this uh, this new um, that, that problem I was talking about earlier with low speed uh, precognition problem, you know, in their new formulations, uh, they went above and beyond. And and a, and a side benefit of the oil now that they've got that will actually protect against that problem, they did, they they actually. Um, uh, created an oil that uh, protects 75 percent more in deposit controls in wear on turbos and in the engine than mobile in royal purple and a, and a bunch of other ones and they name the names uh, which I love that kind of advertising I like it when I, I hate to see advertising well we're better than brand A or brand B I like them to say you know you call a spade a spade <laughs> yeah, say it that exactly way. anyway that would, um, that would make a lot of sense yeah I really like the direction that Amsel has gone for 40 some years and that's what uh, uh, but it's all, I call it overkill oil, and that's the way it's been. I've been you know, and, and, and if it didn't do that, I certainly wouldn't be here on the air after I've been a dealer with them since 1981. If it didn't do what it says on the, uh, on the bottle. And if you go on the mm-hmm. website, on my website, and you do some browsing, uh, click on the, like, say uh, you, you want to look at a 530. Well, click on that or whatever your vehicle calls for, and, and it will have a spec sheet there. Click on the spec sheet. Uh, specifications. You'll you'll see the service life. You'll see a lot of stuff in there that will answer a lot of questions for you. Now the other companies don't do that. It's very hard to get any specifications or technical information from mobile or or um, uh, any of them. Uh, Valvoline or uh, you know it's hard to get that stuff. You can get it in a lot of cases, but it's not easy. And Amsel publishes because they want you to know what we have. Um, that's just their, their corporate philosophy, and I've loved it uh, all these years that I've been dealing with them. And um, but uh, anyway, uh, I don't know if that answered that question. I'm all, I went off on a different tangent there, Bob. You have to. You have to well, I think to you you got, you got some good information out there, and and hopefully they can follow up with you offline, and then we'll make sure when we come back to give your telephone number and email address one more time. And when we come back on the other side, we're going to talk uh, a little bit more about um, some other uh, AMS oil products besides oil, because there's a whole slew of other ones. This is Auto World. Don't go away. Broadcasting from the middle of Corvette Boulevard and Stingray Avenue, this is Auto World with your host, Bob Long. I want to thank you so much for joining me here today. George Douglas is with us. He's one of our two oil experts, lubrication experts. Got a wonderful website, which is oilhelp.com. And before we go any further, for all the folks that have emailed in and would like to get a personal one-on-one consultation with George at absolutely no cost or obligation, he can be reached via the telephone or he can be reached via email. George wants to give out that information. Information. Well, it's George at oilhelp.com, and then um, uh, the number is 1-800-887-6698. And uh, you, you mentioned something about when we broke away that uh, talk of, about a few other products. i got to, uh, unless you've got some questions on that uh, from somebody, I've, I've got a couple uh, things I'd like to talk about. Yeah, let's talk about some of the uh, products that you'd like to talk okay, about. Okay, well, the thing is we just uh, had some hurricanes, and uh, 
Uh, I was down at my home in Florida, in, in the Orlando area. I've got a home up here in Tennessee also. But uh, uh, I was down there because I had to go down and cut trees and stuff. We went through a bad, uh, you know, bad uh, Hurricane Irma. And a lot of people had generators going everywhere because we lost power. And uh, uh, we were selling, you know, a lot of people wanted our oil, uh, our small engine oil for generators. And then also... After the storm, uh, we we had a lot of customers down there that wanted our quick shot. And what that is is a stabilizer and a cleaner and a um, ethanol uh, uh, deal that, that uh, actually prevents uh, what they call phase separation uh, in the uh, – in, in your gas tank, where well, that's where water will separate out. Ethanol by itself uh, is, is, you know, got 10% in most gasoline uh, formulations, and um, ethanol in, in its nature will try to absorb water. So if there's moisture in the air and that, it can, it can collect in your fuel. And it will, uh, over time, uh, if you're not using that oil, uh, that gas very often, um, you, you have water trapped in there and it will fall to the bottom of the tank. They call that phase separation. Well, you don't want that to happen. So we have a product called Quick Shot and, um, uh, and it's also a stabilizer. So like when I put my generator away and then come back to Tennessee a few days ago, um, I filled that tank up because we don't know if we're through the hurricane season yet or not. And, um, uh, I put new new fuel in it, and I put this uh, quick uh, quick shot in it. Also, just in case I don't use that generator again, in case we get lucky, sure. we don't have to fire up because we lost power, and that will take me through the winter and uh, up until next spring. And then I can use that fuel later and run the generator if I need to, or just get it out of there and run it somewhere else so you don't have a lot of stale fuel. But it it will stabilize the fuel and uh, also actually cleans your carburetor system and fuel system out as it's being used. So that's a good cleaner, fuel stabilizer, and ethanol uh, uh, help with ethanol potential problems. And um, um, have you heard about that product, Bob? Have you used that yet? Uh, No, I have not. It, It sounds like a great one. Yeah, we, we sell a lot of that when we do trade shows, you know, at motorcycle shows and, and, and car shows or whatever. Like, uh, it's also really good for uh, uh, classic cars uh, that aren't getting run much. See, back there in the old days, we had steel tanks. We have plastic tanks now, or fiberglass or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what the yeah. material is, but it's definitely not metal. And if that water drops out of your fuel because you haven't been running that, that uh, car, uh, like that lady's car uh, earlier, 73 uh, a Pontiac or whatever that was, I can't remember. Um, that water sitting in the bottom of the tank, uh, you know, that's where you get, that's where you rust tanks out. And uh, uh, a lot of the older cars, that happened a, a lot, and it's a lot worse problem now because of the ethanol. But that will prevent that. So um, uh, that potential problem as far as uh, you know, rusting out fuel tanks, the, the older tanks. Now, our new tanks today, don't they, they're not going to rust out because they're, uh, they're, uh, uh, you know, different uh, different material. And then we have a fuel additive uh, for the everyday driver. It's called our PI Performance Improver, and we use that uh, in, in a tank about every four or 5,000 miles. You put a bottle in. It costs you about 10, 11, 12 bucks uh, for that. And um, that cleans up your entire system. It has nothing to do with ethanol, though. And ethanol is not an issue in an everyday driver uh, as far as uh, water and things like that because the, the, the fuel gets used. It doesn't get a chance to get stale. Uh, it doesn't get a chance for the water to drop out if there is water in it. So, But this other PI, this will uh, clean out the fuel injection system and, and valves, too, in the uh, multi-port systems. It won't help with the engines I talked about earlier with the correct injection injectors like in a diesel. Uh, they're, they're, uh, what, what they've done, you know, when I was talking earlier, was uh, the um, uh, turbo, uh, uh, turbos uh, installed on these engines along with that direct injection injectors uh, that are used like in diesels. That, that's an entirely different issue. Uh, this won't help that, that much in that situation. But uh, for the... Uh, um, Everyday driver, um, you throw a bottle of that in about every, like I said, a four or five thousand miles, and they clean up because your your car, your engine is almost like cholesterol. Uh, I, I, I uh, correlate it to uh, or compare it to uh, 
the cholesterol in your in your blood system it's a slow process and it builds and builds and builds and then, and then until you can't get blood through then you got a real problem and then in an engine you can't get the fuel through you got a real problem but this will go in there and clean that stuff up and it's too bad they don't make something we could drink and do the same thing for our uh, <laughs> <laughs> for our system so I'd, I'd be drinking it <laughs> that's great george yeah. i love that outstanding and for all of our friends who are motorcycle owners, I know you've got a number of uh, oils and uh, and products that can help those folks as well. Oh yeah, we're, big. we're I mean, we sell an awful lot of motorcycle oil. We probably sell more synthetic motorcycle oil than anybody uh, out there. Period. Um, it's just been a really uh, great uh, market for us, and you know we've got oils for uh, the, the, the new Indians. Uh, they call for a twenty forty. Synthetic, and, and we've got that, and of course we've got it for the Harleys. We got the our, what we call our metric motorcycle oil for all the Japanese bikes, and um, you know they call it metric. That doesn't mean it has to be a, a metric type, but that's just a kind of a, a, sl- a slogan or something that uh, people that, that have those bikes understand, you know. And then, uh, the, sure. the others are B twin oil, which is for the Harleys, but it's it's good for uh, metric bikes too that might call for a twenty fifty. And then we got straight 60 weight motorcycle oils for some of them that, uh, that call for that. And then we got, uh, 1560, uh, um, new oil for one of the new, um, uh, Indians that just come out. Uh, the Cub Indian uh, Scout, I think, is a new, uh, new motorcycle for, um, Indian. And, um, and we have filters for all them too. We have all our synthetic, uh, filters, uh, which do a great job of cleaning and, I'm not saying we're the best out there, but uh, we're, we're, uh, there's none better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And take it from George. He's 35 years worth of experience, lubrication specialist. And as I said at the top of the hour, you can buy your oil, you know, from your convenience store. You can buy some no-name brand, but you're only doing yourself a disservice. You're doing it a service to your vehicle. The vehicle is the second most uh, important purchase that you're going to ever make. I mean, vehicles today are quite expensive, even on the used market. They're they're quite expensive. So protect that investment. Put the good stuff in it. Don't fool around with some of these no-name brands that are just a little bit too common. Yeah, Bob, um, one thing, too, is um, if, if, if uh, any of the listeners want to deal with Dan or myself, uh, keep in mind that uh, we offer special pricing for uh, people uh, that will call us directly or uh, email us, uh, uh, you know, to put it on your doorstep. And, and then sometimes we can even show you where you can get it locally in some cases if you don't want to uh, go through the process of having it shipped to you. Uh, we have uh, some dealers scattered around that, that we, we deal with and uh, might be able to hook you up with one of them. And, That's um, great. Uh, but we're here to, here to help. You know. Absolutely. That is the thing that's so important, and that's the thing that separates you and Dan from all the folks out there selling oil is that you guys care. You're there to help. You're there to answer questions. You're there to advise. And uh, you and Dan do a, a fantastic job of representing all the different uh, offerings from AMSOIL. So, folks, again, check out oilhelp.com. That's George's page. Or the lubepage.com. That's uh, Dan's page. And in the meantime, we want to thank uh, George very much for his time here today. And George will get you back with us real soon. I so appreciate your time for uh, for this hour of the program. All right, Bob. Thank you. There he is, George Douglas. Again, more than 35 years worth of experience in a family-owned company, Amsoil. That's something I really like. There are so few family-owned companies. Support the family-owned companies. Support Amsoil. Support all of our great sponsors here on Auto World Radio. When you get a chance, check out my website. It's autoworldradio.com. And it's been my absolute pleasure to spend this hour with you. And I can't wait to be back with you for another hour. I'm Bob Long. 
Folks, this is Bob Long, host of Auto World Radio, with great news. We have a new sponsor, Dan Watson, who distributes AMSOIL throughout the USA and Canada. Dan is one of AMSOIL's largest distributors. He's a former U.S. Navy nuclear specialist and a certified lubrication specialist with 25-plus years of experience. You can listen to Dan every Sunday evening live at 6 p.m. Eastern Time here on GCNlive.com. Get all of your questions answered and ensure you get the best lubrication for your car, truck, boat, or really anything that moves. In 1972, Amsoil pioneered synthetic lubrication, and Amsoil continues to provide the best lubrication money can buy. Get the best advice for the best results. Contact Dan at thelubepage.com. That's thelubepage.com. Or call 800-370-2986. That's 800-370-2986.